Okay, in the next video, you just do the problem along with me. Okay, it says an online retailer store sells songs for a dollar. At this rate, they sell about 3,000 songs, so they'd be making $3,000. Now, what they're going to do is they're going to increase the price by 10 cents, but each time they up it by 10 cents, they sell 500 or decrease it by 10 cents, sorry. Every time they lower it by 10 cents, they're going to sell 500 more songs because they're cheaper. Okay, that's the logic behind that. Find the store's maximum revenue. So again, maximum. Okay, and we need to find where the maximum's at. Anytime, any maximum, we should draw this as kind of my graphic organizer. Okay, so to calculate the X, we need our formula, the opposite of B divided by 2 times A. And then the Y um, is replace X on our calculator. Okay, so my revenue equation is the revenue equals the money I charge multiplied by the item, the number of items I sell. Okay, so each of these factors gets a parenthesis because it's more complex than just having one factor of each. So the revenue is Y, and then two parentheses. And then I need to find money amounts. Only money amounts go in this one right here. So my money amounts are $1.10. Okay, so those go together. So I put $1, now don't put an X on the dollar. And then it's 10 cent decrease, so minus 0.10x. The reason why x is there is because you're decreasing it by 10 cents repeatedly from a dollar to 90 cents to 80 cents to 60 cents. You're finding where you should stop decreasing it and just set the price there. Okay, so I cross these two numbers out. Okay, and then my items that I sell, I have 3,500. So 3,000 is the beginning amount. Don't put a variable on that. And then if we're decreasing it by 10, we're going to be adding to how many we sell by 500. So 500x. Okay, now I need to get rid of the parentheses. Now, I could make you use the rainbows and go over here, but I'd rather not. I'd rather use my Papa Math algebra calculator. So again, you're going to go Google search. And again, you're going to type in Math Papa Algebra Calculator. Okay, so I go right here. And right here is where I want to be. Okay. So I'm going to plug in 1 minus 0 0.10. You don't want to just do 10. It'll give you something else. 1 min minus 0 0.10 with X. Close it. And then you don't need to even hit times. You can just put the parentheses next to it. 3,000 plus 500x. So 3,000 minus 500x. Close that. And I get negative 50. I get, sorry, I messed it up. This was, this was plus, sorry. Okay, so I get negative 50x to the second. That's my A. And then 200x, 200's my b, whatever's in front of the x to the first is the b, x second's the a, and then 3,000. Okay, now I'm in a good spot to go up here now, okay? So, the opposite of the b, well, that would be negative 200, and then I'm going to have 2, and then negative 50. Okay, so 2 times negative 50 is negative 100, and then I divide those. Negative 200 divided by negative 100 is 2, positive 2. Okay, now put your 2's in there, and negative 50, and then 2 to the second power instead of x, plus 200. Now I'm going to put 2 in place of the x, plus 3,000. Okay, I got 3,200. Okay, now the two is how many times you change the price. So you go from a dollar and then down 10 to 90 cents, down another 10 to 80 cents. So 80 cents is what you're going to charge, but your maximum revenue is $3,200.